Hello everyone, today we're going to get into the spooky spirit, inspired by the old tale of Frankenstein, taking parts from the scariest rides I've ridden to build one monster, the world's single scariest coaster. And it might kill people, I'm not sure. So let's step into the workshop and build a Franken coaster. Alright, so we know we gotta start with a bang, right? How about a slow JoJo roll out of the station with some of the best hang time out there? Hydra's Revenge dangles riders for what feels like forever. So let's start with that maximum banshee screams from the GP. Alright, so next up is another GP nightmare. Fahrenheit's Vertical Lift. This slow lift up seeing nothing but the track ahead of you in the sky always draws out the screams and the overreactions. Now the real kicker here is we're going to throw in the height from King Ka. How about a 456 foot vertical lift? The anticipation. Now let's really bring it all together and bring out the drop specialist. Griffin or any other dive coaster for that matter. Now the holding brake above a 456 foot vertical straight down drop with some of the best airtime possible sounds pretty scary. Now we're going to get wild throughout this coaster. But who cares? It's our monster. We're doing this together, guys. All right, so how do we scare them after that? I mean, that's pretty crazy. Oh, I know. Let's, let's force a blackout with I-305's first turn. And if we were lucky with the added speed from the higher drop, they won't even remember what happens next. So if the lateral Gs didn't melt their brains into zombies' favorite soup, then let's shake them awake with the bull's legendary back-to-back -back camelback hills. By the time their butt hit the seats after those El Toro hills, they should be up and awake and ready to go. All right, now I think we need to be nice here and give them all a break, because I think we've been mean so far. So let's throw in Dominator's Vertical Loop. Now it offers a nice change to what we've put them through so far, but afterwards they should still want their mommy's hugs wrapped around them tighter than a mummy's toilet paper. Next up, I think we should hop on that horse with the Headless Horseman as Skyrush tries and probably succeeds at throwing us out of the trains. Now it doesn't really matter which of its airtime hills you pick, either of the crossover hills will definitely eject you. Alright, now let's pull into a dark tunnel because nothing is scarier than being reminded that the end is nothing but dark. Sorry, sorry, too dark? Alright, instead let's drop our riders with a drop track from Revolton. Now it's sudden and it's always one of those unexpected elements that you don't really see everywhere. And after said drop track, let's go with a bang using Maverick's Tunnel Launch. Throw in some of Stormrunner's deep voice saying, get ready, here we go. And let's send them right into that finale with a bang. So to start that finale, let's pop them up into Wicked Cyclone Zero G stall because we didn't have enough hang time yet. Plus, this is one element I've never actually been prepared for, no matter how much I expect it and wait for it. Now, finally, this may seem like an odd inclusion, but I've always found the interlocking B&M corkscrews to be as intimidating as they are beautiful. Plus, I've seen plenty of GP freak out watching the trains go through. Plus, Bizarro at Six Flags Great Adventure has that near-miss element for extra theming and extra fear. Now that the layout is done, let's talk about some extra style points we can throw in there. I'm thinking about making this thing as loud as possible, so let's get Great Bear's roar in there. It seems appropriate. This ride could be heard from across the park, and it's going to be wild. Speaking of making this thing as loud as possible, let's grab those anti-rollback sounds from Steel Vengeance, because they're obnoxious. And you know what? Overall, let's make this an RMC hybrid structure, because the sheer size of a 200-foot RMC is intimidating. Imagine this monstrosity. Next up, we have to think of the queue, because, you know, people will be waiting to ride this. So I'm thinking the Batman the Ride queue from Six Flags Great Adventure. Now you're probably saying, that's not scary. Well, for most of it, you're shoved in a tight, overcrowded, and enclosed sewer pipe with zero ventilation. So yes, it is scary. Next question. So finally, we have to talk about what restraints we're gonna throw on here. Now I could double up and use Sky Rush because those lap bars are probably the scariest restraints out there. But I think the one that may be able to top it is the old buzz bars from Phoenix. Now could this actually work? Absolutely not, people will die but that just adds more ghosts to haunt the queue. So that's gonna be my Franken coaster. Now, let me know what yours would be below and shout out to anyone that actually has the time and effort to make this in No Limits or Planet Coaster. I, I, I didn't feel like it. Now, I hope everyone has a fantastic and spooky Halloween and as always, follow Island Coasters on Instagram for daily content and drop a like and subscribe if you really wanna support the channel. So till next time, that's all from the shores of Island Coasters.